Pesci, and this is Barnes & Noble Tag. It's time to pack up the beach chairs, shake the sand out of your shoes, and move inside for some big, hot reads that will be huge this fall. We start with a tag that is especially appropriate for the election year. Curtis Sittenfeld's first novel, Prep, became an instant New York Times bestseller. Having gone to a prep school herself, Curtis had plenty of personal experience to draw from. This week, she's out with American Wife, a story that is born not from her house, but quite possibly the White House. Lead character Alice Blackwell is a serious, thoughtful librarian who marries into the high-powered world of Republican politics and eventually ends up in the White House. Is the Laura Bush comparison intentional? We'll find out right now. Curtis Sittenfeld, you've been tagged. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for having me. Tell me about American Wife. What's it about? It's about a woman who, it, it follows the whole life of a woman who becomes first lady, um, somewhat to her own surprise. And so it covers almost 60 years, starting in the, the 50s and then going to the present day. It's so interesting to me because I've, I've gotten to read the first couple of chapters and the, the characters are so interesting and, and fully evolved. And you seem so young. How, <laughs> how do you, how do you know, know this much about different people? Are you drawing on your own experiences? Most writers sort of observe other people and so I don't think you have to have experienced something firsthand in mm -hmm. order to write about it. You know, yeah. you, being a writer is using your imagination. Yeah. A first lady that's a librarian marries into this, you know, Republican political family. Is this Laura Bush? Well, the short answer would be no. <laughs> um, but the, the longer answer, I mean, uh, it's definitely, it's loosely inspired by mm -hmm, Laura Bush. Mm -hmm. So the character's name is Alice Blackwell, and there are several, um, you know, sort of experiences she has or situations she finds herself in that, that do have parallels in Laura Bush's life. But then I was able to you know, sort of just invent probably 85% of it be because there's so much we can't know about e even these very visible politicians or politician spouses. And so I was able to kind of start with something real and then invent and invent and mm -hmm. invent. What is your process like? Do you get up and write every day or do you take some time off when you finish a big book? I do try to write every day. You know, I try to spend, well, for this book, I, I worked I think longer than I normally would, wow. you know, longer hours within a uh -huh. day. But yeah, I, I think it's mostly just being in a room by myself and not checking email. <laughs> and there, of course, there are always distractions yeah, in yeah. the world. Well, thank you so much. The book looks great. This is, I've got a couple of airplane rides in the, my future. This is in my hands. Thank you so much. Thank you. And here are a few highly anticipated tags that will be big this fall. Marilyn Robinson's debut novel, Housekeeping, was described by the New York Times as one of the most original and striking novels of its time. And Robinson did not disappoint when she followed with her Pulitzer Prize winning novel, Gilead, the story of Reverend John Ames' reflection on life as he nears death. Now she returns to the locale of Gilead, Iowa for her latest novel, Home. This time, the story takes place in the household of Reverend Robert Boughton, Ames' closest friend. His daughter, Glory, has returned to Gilead to take care of her dying father, and her brother, Jack, the prodigal son of the family, comes home too, looking to make peace. Home is a moving and healing book about families, secrets, and the passing of the generations. The strange relationship between Detective Archie Sheridan and serial killer Gretchen Lowell was first established in Chelsea Kane's novel, Heartsick. In her latest book, Sweetheart, their connection is as strong as ever, even with Gretchen behind bars. Detective Sheridan thinks he's on the trail of a new serial killer, but all hell breaks loose when Gretchen escapes from prison. And how about spending 21 nights with Prince? That's what renowned photographer Randy St. Nicholas did. The superstar musician allowed St. Nicholas unprecedented access to his 21 sold out performances in London. And the result is 21 Nights, a multimedia treasure that includes lyrics and poetry penned by Prince and a CD that captures his after hours performances. Plus, a coffee table book to be treasured, All the World's Birds by 18th century naturalist George Louis Leclerc. It's a compilation of wondrous depictions of birds that are among the earliest scientific attempts to depict the creatures in all their detail and the perfect gift for the bird watcher in your life. From coffee table book 
to the kitchen table. If you've had your fill of burgers and broths for the summer, then get cooking with Food Network star and best-selling author of Everyday Pasta, Giada De Laurentiis. In her new book, Giada's Kitchen, Italy meets California with her collection of 100 new recipes. With a focus on fresh ingredients, simple preparation, and bright flavors, Giada's recipes satisfy our desire to eat with gusto and feel good about what we eat. We want to know, what's your favorite fall reading spot? Just go to bn.com slash tagged and cast your vote. We'll let you know the results next week. Last week, we asked you, what type of music makes it to your best of list? The majority of you said, pop tunes. The bad news is, the days are getting shorter. But the good news is, there's more time to read in bed. If you want to find out about more great fall reads, go to our fall preview store at bn.com slash fall. I'm going to need a bigger nightstand. See you next time on Barnes & Noble Tag.